What if I told you that not all ancient humans looked like muscular hunters from the Flintstones? What if some were actually the size of toddlers? Millions of years ago, during the Stone Age, when giant mammals roamed the earth, there lived a mysterious group of humans on the Indonesian island of Flores. They were part of the Homo genus which means wise man, but they didn't look like us at all, nicknamed the Hobbit because of their short stature and large feet. These ancient humans stood just over three feet tall and had brains that were one-third the size of ours. They walked the earth alongside giants like mammoths and saber-toothed cats, yet they managed to survive for hundreds of thousands of years. So how did these tiny humans survive in a prehistoric world full of danger? And why are they no longer with us today? Let's find out. In 2003, archaeologists discovered the remains of these mysterious small humans on the Indonesian island of Flores. They were named Homo floresiensis. The discovery shocked the scientific community because these tiny humans lived around 60,000 years ago. That's long after our own species, Homo sapiens, had started spreading across the globe. Yet they were completely different from us. They had small brains and large feet, and they lived in small groups on the island of Flores. But don't think for a second that being small was a weakness. In fact, it was quite the opposite. On Flores Island, they hunted dwarf elephants, giant rats, and even defended themselves from giant lizards, relatives of today's Komodo dragons. Being small helped them survive. It's called island dwarfism, when animals or humans evolved to be smaller because of limited food sources on an island. This is why modern-day humans living on Flores are on average shorter than those on the mainland. But life for these small humans couldn't have been easy. They lived in a time when the climate was rapidly changing and dangerous animals roamed the earth. Yet they managed to survive for hundreds of thousands of years. They used stone tools and weapons to hunt and defended themselves from predators. They also created art, jewelry and ornaments from shells and bones, showing that they were intelligent and creative beings. But here's the thing, we don't know exactly why they disappeared. Did they die out naturally? Or did they encounter modern humans like us? Some scientists even believe legends of small forest people in Indonesia may still echo their memory. What do you think happened to these small humans? Let me know in the comments below. The story of Homo floresiensis reminds us that human history is full of mysteries. We may not be the only humans who ever walked this earth, who knows, maybe there are other ancient humans out there waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos about amazing discoveries from the past. See you next time.